These games are ranked by PlayScore, a standard rating that averages gamer and critic reviews. Opening our list for the top 10 racing games on the iOS is Riptide GP Renegade. This aquatic racing game from the Riptide GP lineup by Vector Unit is all about illicit hydrojet racing in the future. You are a disgraced hydrojet rider who performs death-defying stunts over huge waterfalls, dodge the police when you're on public waterways, and boost at breakneck speeds across surging waves. After you were kicked out of the Riptide GP League, you are forced to race illegally through the city rivers, fountains, amusement parks, and more. Build your crew, take down bosses, and battle opponents from around the world in 8-player online races that are filled with shortcuts, secrets, and interactive obstacles, all in the effort to reclaim your reputation and title. This action arcade water racer has a play score of 8.5. At number 9, Blocky Roads. In this game by Dogbite, you are a farmer who just lost everything after a tornado ripped your house, farm, tractor, and your pigs and scattered them all around the world. Of course, you're not gonna take all of this lying down, you're gonna get them all back. Even if that means you're gonna have to drive your little vehicle through increasingly challenging obstacle courses from green hills to snowy mountains to deserted dunes. This game may have 10 challenge tracks and 14 vehicles to test those tracks on, but this game isn't about stunts. It's all about going as far as you can with your limited fuel and initially lock luster vehicle. Collect enough coins so you can upgrade your rides. After track 3, you can even go as far as building your own car. This racing game that's less about how fast you can go but how long you will last on the road has a play score of 8.51. At number 8, Blocky Highway. This next game on our list is still from the developers behind Dogbite. Instead of going around different rural tracks finding the bits and pieces of your destroyed farm, this time you are racing on the highway endlessly. Or at least until you crash onto the other cars on the highway. The game is not just endless racing though. You also have to complete missions so you can unlock all the fun vehicles this game has to offer. In this game, you have 45 different vehicles to drive. From a good old taxi, to a police car, to a space shuttle, to a UFO, or if you feel like it, a mother flippin' tank, which has the ability to shoot at the cars in front of you. You know you love racing on the highway. This game celebrates that. It has a play score of 8.52. At number 7, Real Racing 3. When this game from Electronic Arts first came out in 2013, the visuals were mind-blowing. Five years later, and it's still a pretty game. What makes this third installment from the award-winning franchise still worth the download in 2018? For one, it's still supported. The developers behind this game are still updating this game with new cars for the gamers to play, like the classic 1984 Ferrari Testarossa for special events. This is in addition to their already awesome lineup of cars from Ferrari, Bugatti, Lamborghini, and many many more sweet rides that you can customize so it can be even sweeter. If you've never played this game before, this game is a real-time multiplayer racing game where you race against players from around the world at 40 circuits at 18 real-world locations. You can race anyone at any time anywhere using time-shifted technology. Free up a bit of space for this heavyweight racing game that has a play score of 8.59. At number 6, Rush Rally 2. This game from Brown Monster Limited has awesome physics, many of tracks to choose from, a variety of play modes, and even some silly extra stuff thrown into the mix. The small asking price is a bargain for such a neat little racing game. In the 7 countries and 72 different stages, you are racing on different terrains, from snow to gravel to dirt. This is why for each race, you have the ability to tune your car to fit what terrain you are racing on. You will also take damage as you race, so tread carefully because all sorts of things start to go wrong when you take too much damage. Whether you want to play this game casually or really go on a deeper level, this game has a lot to offer you. It's not the easiest racing game if you don't approach it sensibly. This game offers its players a quality racing experience that's deserving of a play score of 8.67. At number 5, Joe Danger. The next game on our list is the mobile version of Joe Danger. 
That's right, this is a version that is really tailored for mobile gaming, not just a simple port of the PC or PS Vita versions. The simple yet effective gesture control system of the game quickly becomes second nature after a few practices. Mastering the controls of the game is crucial when doing stunts because the game will get more difficult in later stages. In this game, you are taking on the world of racing as a titular character, Joe Danger, the world's most determined cape-wearing stuntman. Take your trusty motorbike as you jump on buses, dodge giant mousetraps, leap tanks full of sharks, all in the efforts to reclaim your title of Master Disaster. If you're tired of playing as Joe Danger, you have the choice of over 25 unique and funny playable characters from a golden man named Golden Joe to a zombie guy named Zombie. This game from Mobile Daredevils has a play score of 8.77. At number 4, Asphalt 8 Airborne. Gameloft has hit its pinnacle with Asphalt 8, the fourth in its series on the iOS. This game is not only beautiful to look at thanks to both its stunning graphics and cool rides, but also its amazing physics. This game features more than 215 customizable and upgradable speed machines from Ferrari, Ducati, Lamborghini, and many others that we wish we actually own in real life. As this is an arcade racing game at its core, players can earn awards based on the objectives in-game, such as narrowly missing cars, performing tricks while you're airborne, or wrecking your opponents. These things give you a small amount of money at the end of the game, but where the rewards really lie is the nitro you earn while playing, so you can speed by and let these losers bite your dust. This game offers a lot of fun and a lot of adrenaline. It has a play score of 8.8. .8. At number 3, Data Wing. This solo passion project by developer Dan Vogt is an impressive story-driven racing adventure. That's right, this minimalist top-down racing game has a story. In the story, you are dealing with an artificial intelligence called Mother who bosses you around. You will have to follow her orders no matter how mean she gets, until she starts getting irrational. Kinda like GLaDOS, the unreliable guide from the Portal series. While you can enjoy this racing game set in an Ian landscape without paying attention to the story, you will be missing the point of it all. There's a reason why you're going fast around a circuit. The intuitive two-touch controls reminiscent of playing an arcade game plus the simple yet brilliant mechanics of this game make every step of the way make you feel special. On top of this game's awesomeness, it's completely free. It's free to download, there are no ads in this game, and there are no in-app purchases. There's literally nothing stopping you from enjoying this work of art. This game plays like a dream, looks like a dream, and sounds like a dream. It truly deserves a play score of 9.12. At number 2, Pigeon Wings. This game about Skyrats is both a side-scrolling racing game and a shoot-em-up game. You play as a pigeon named Pigeon who is tasked to save East Megalopolis from the Duke Dexter's aeronautics and his deadly pilot XO9999. Don't worry, you won't be completely alone in stopping this baddie. You have general exposition to guide you through your many battles against Duke Dexter. As you can tell from that brief, this game is pretty goofy. But just because this game is lighthearted doesn't mean it's super easy. It has a level of difficulty that boosts its replay value. Another reason to replay its 50 levels is to perfect your score. You'll be rewarded 1 to 3 medals depending on how well you did. You can also compare your time with other players. This can also give you an incentive to play the game again. We all want to be the fastest racer, don't we? With awesome controls, gameplay, visuals, and music, this game receives a play score of 9.14. And the best racing game on the iOS is Motorsport Manager Mobile 2. As the name of this game suggests, in this game, you manage a racing team. You are to hire drivers and engineers and manage your drivers during race day. Motorsport Manager Mobile 2 improves on the original from the development of the cars your drivers drive to the simulation of the race day and the driver's market. You are now able to design every single part of your cars to strengthen their weak points. How well these alterations are made depends on how good your engineers are, which is why hiring the right engineers is crucial. 
you can't have the drivers complaining about their subpar cars because that can bring their ratings down. The drivers are given more depth this time. They each have 6 stats, sponsor appeal, and stat modifiers that will come and go throughout the seasons. Your drivers can also age and lose their skills when they're older. If you want to take a back seat from the driver's seat and just focus on the strategies that come with racing, here's a game that has a play score of 9.14. You may get these games right now by clicking the links below.